Hello everyone, welcome back to Native Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise on Autocycle Power Machines N6. It's an, it's an example that I've taken from my, question, from my test book and it reads as follows. The air standard efficiency of an Autocycle engine is 56.5%. The bore and stroke of the engine are equal. The clearance volume is 9.84 centimeter square assume gamma to be 1.4 and then the questions they say calculate the volume compression ratio which is r number two calculate the swept volume of the engine in cubic centimeters number three calculate the diameter d of the engine in millimeters and this is the information that we are given we are given the air standard efficiency. We are, we are told that the bore diameter, which is the diameter of uh, the piston, is equal to the stroke length. And we are given the clearance volume, which is 9.84 centimeter squared. We are given gamma, which is 1.4. And for now, we will only need the PV diagram to help us with this question. Question number one, they say, calculate the volume compression ratio which is r we know r is given by v1 divided by v2 and we do not have v2 and v1 and therefore we cannot use this formula we have a standard efficiency let's try using the a standard efficiency formula it's given by one minus uh one divided by r in bracket raised to gamma minus one we have everything except for the R which we are looking for. Therefore, we substitute. Five. Before we put it here, we must first convert by dividing by 100. And then we get one, 0 0.565. It's equals to 1 point. In bracket, 1 divided by R raised to 1.4 minus 1. And then from here, we solve we get 1, point, 1 divided by r raised to 1.4 minus 1 is equals to 0 0.435. And from here, we will say r is equals to 0. 435 raised to 1 divided by 1, 4 divided by uh, minus 1. And uh, we get that our r is the value of r is 8, and then we will say 8 is to 1 because it's the ratio. And then we go to question number 2. Question number 2 they say calculate the swept volume of the engine in cubic meters. r it's equals to V divided by V1 divided by V2. V1 it's equals to the uh, clearance volume plus the swept volume divided by the, the clearance volume. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, divided by the clearance volume. We are looking for the swept volume r we have and the sub volume we do not have which is what we are looking for we are given the clearance volume the only thing that we do not have here is the sub volume which we are looking for and they said we must calculate it in centimeter cube centimeter cube our clearance volume is also in centimeter cube therefore we substitute as it is our r is 8 Clearance volume at 9.8 9.84 plus SV, which is our swept volume, divided by 9.84. And this will give us our swept volume as 68.88 oops centimeter cube. And we go to question number three. They say calculate the diameter D 
of the dam of the engine in millimeters they are looking for uh, erase this they are looking for the diameter of the piston we know that the swept volume is equals to uh, area times the stroke length which is pi d pi divided by 4 times d squared times the stroke length this is the stroke length the stroke length we do not have the the, the, the the stroke length and we are looking for the diameter we come back to this condition that they told us they they said the piston diameter is equal to the stroke length therefore where we we get the stroke length because we do not have it and we are not looking for it we are going to say pi divided by 4 times d squared times in in the place of the stroke length we are going to put the piston diameter and we will be left with something like pi divided by 4 d cubed it's equals to the swept volume so the volume we have it's uh 68.5 Eight, eight. Uh, it's equal to pi divided by four times d cubed, and we 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 do maths, and we get that our d is equal to four point four four centimeters which is equals to 44.4 millimeters since they said we must get the diameter in millimeters this is our final answer and that is how we go about answering this question we will do the next question which reads as follows the cylinder of an engine have a swept volume of 1639 centimeters squared and a clearance volume of 327.7 cm squared. It operates on it on the constant volume auto cycle with a perfect gas, where CP, which is the specific capacity under constant pressure, it's equals to 1 kg per it's, it's 1 kJ per kg Kelvin. And the specific capacity under constant volume it's equals to 0 0.71 kilojoules per kg kelvin and then the question they say find the volume of the air standard efficiency and this is the information that we are given they gave us the swept volume clearance volume cp and cv and we are asked to calculate for the air standard efficiency which we know is given by one minus in bracket one divided by r close bracket raised to gamma minus one first we have to get the ratio which is r and we have to get the index of the um, the index of gamma ratio is given by v1 divided by v2 v1 we know v1 is here it will be equals to the swept volume and the what's this the clearance volume we, and then it's if C is VC plus VS divided by V2. It's here and it only covers the currency volume. We have these volumes. The currency volume is, since they are in the same unit, we will put them as they are. Currency volume is 327.7 plus the swept volume is 1639 and then divided by 327.7 which will give us our ratio as uh amen. our ratio is okay where's our ratio as six which will be six is to one because it's a ratio and then we are done with the ratio now we want to get the index of gamma index of gamma we know 
from power machines N5, the index of gamma is given by Cp divided by Cv. So power 5, this one. And then Cp and Cv, we are also given. This is 1 divided by 0 0.71. Yeah, which will be the index of gamma. It's 1.41. And now we can calculate for the air standard efficiency, which is 1 minus, in bracket, 1 divided by our ratio. It's 6. Close bracket raised to 1.41 minus 1, which will give us an air standard efficiency of 0 0.52. But because we know it's an efficiency, we can leave it here it's cool but before because we know it's an efficiency and we know an efficiency it's usually presented in percentage form we're going to say 0 0.52 times 100 which will give us 52 percent and that's how we go about answering these two questions i will see you on the next lesson